Hi friends! I just finished filming a video, but we're filming another one now because it is an unboxing day! Got this package here, just came in the mail, by the way, not sponsored, all of it is my own, bought this myself, and I'm excited to open it and remind myself what I bought. So, put it here, pull out my packing slip, I got a strawberry kiwi sucker, very excited about that, a devil's horns, and packing thing and a thingy thing. Oh, cat's out of the bag. What did Maria get? Finally. Finally. Okay. Y'all, you know what's in this box, right? Let's come back to it. So this other thing I got has been like, I keep adding it to a cart and removing it from a cart because like I have no business buying this pen. But like, y'all, it speaks to me, okay? It's prettier in person. So I'm glad I got it. This is, uh, what is it called? The, the Jin Hao X750 in the Shimmering Sands color. So the thing that I didn't, I don't know if I realize, is this is like holographic glitter. It's nice to have a pen that like, oh, that's a satisfying noise. This pen is heavy and I got it with a medium nib. I know this because it says it's so on my packing slip, but. And it comes with a converter. Branded converter. So, will I post this pen? Can you post it? Probably you can. Will I? No, of course not. Do I post any pen? No, not unless I have to. It's a good size. <laughs> um, it, the cap fits well on my pinky, which is important, as you know. Doesn't screw on Maria. Then... Of course, blue is my favorite color. Of course I got this. Of course I got this. And you don't even, like, I don't even have to show you anything about it because you already know exactly what it is. You already know the pen, you know the color, and you know the nib size, unless this is your first video of mine, the first video of mine that you're seeing, in which case, welcome. I'd like to claim I'm not always this way, but I am. So, in case you somehow don't know, oh gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I was, oh, how could I have doubted about getting you? Oh, oh yes. Okay, sorry, that just happened. We just got real. This is the Twisby Eco in cerulean blue in a broad nib. What? How could that happen? Oh no, surprise, Maria, you got a broad nib pen in blue. Right? Like you knew this was gonna happen. So Manda described this as shark's teal and she's right. So I know my camera is showing it as blue. You have to disregard that. I've said before, I'll say again, cameras, not, mine is not alone in this, tend to show things as more blue than green, especially when they have both. So. It's beautiful. It's just... Manda has five Twisby Ecos in transparent purple, one with each nib size. This might be mine. I'm not sure, because transparent blue is nice too, but... Oh, friends, friends. Okay, we're having a moment. And I got one more thing. I got an ink sample. Y'all, I did not buy a bottle. I bought a sample. And I feel so flippin' responsible for doing this. And also, I almost immediately regret not buying just a, not just buying a bottle. But I'm hoping, because I did not get, I slept on it, the Goulet Exclusive Ink. So hopefully they get more. And if they get more of it, then I will buy a bottle. And then if I like it, buy a bottle of this. This should be a shimmer ink. So let's... 
give it a little gentle rollicking. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah, that happened. You know what? It got on my finger, though, and not, like, ruining the thing. Also, I just realized it got all up on here, too. Yep. I don't know how I best want to write this letter. Stop. I didn't leave enough space. Okay, we're finishing it with the other pin because I'm just fed up. I'm fed up with life. That's not true. more on here. I don't think we got shaky, shaky, shaky. Oh, heavens, big old blobby thing on there. Mm hmm. I thought maybe I got more than one sample. I couldn't remember. There there were a lot of iterations of this shopping cart. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what ink I'm putting in there. Because we'll do a writing sample. Because of course we will. Wow, Maria, you went intense there. Well, I should have just bought a bottle. Lesson learned. Did I learn? Did I? You know what? There's no rush, though. I doubt this is, like, limited edition, going to be gone. It'll be here. Uh, it's not like I am missing out. But heavens, oh heavens. So, we'll leave this to dry and I'll grab the ink. Okay, I'm back. Did you guess the ink? Because I haven't put this in a pen yet since getting it. Give that a nice wave. Mm, look at that pretty sticker. Oh, I didn't rinse out the pen, but I have cleanish water here. Do we want to do a full fill? Yeah. Yeah? No. <gasps> Ready? <gasps> you guys 
you see it? It didn't pop. There it goes. You're so beautiful. Okay. Wipe off our pen. I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. I was going to sew, but I might play a game instead. I might sneeze in a second. Okay, I did sneeze, sorry. I paused so that I wouldn't have to edit it out. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I don't like to edit my videos. <laughs> I like videos that are like real. I mean, I don't mind when people are like, okay, I took out the coughing and sneezing. But, you know, whatever. Life has coughing and sneezing. So, it's right on here. This is Don't ask me what this letter is. It's an I, but just, we'll shut up about it, okay? Just, please, this stays between us. If you've ever wondered why Amanda turns the camera when she writes, it could be because a lot of us lefties write awkwardly. <laughs> what can I... <laughs> anyway... This paper's neat to write on. I was going to write on this other paper, but I don't want to spoil or anything. Well, that happened. Um, so we'll write in here. Oh, you're coming up. Don't come up. So we have today. Yes, I inked up three, three pins earlier today. I had a meeting that sort of stressed me out. I'm like, I'm going to ink up some pens. I did some fun explorations with these. So we have Twisby Eco Cerulean Blue Broad Nib. The ink. Iroshizu. Okay, this nib writes really well, all directions. It does look a little more, um, a little less broad than some of my other Twisby broads. Um, but it is a broad. So, because here's a tw Twisby medium, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this, pa oh, you know what it is? It's because I've been writing on so much Cosmo Air. You know how it is. All that, that, that paper makes every pen like 10 million times fatter. But look at this ink on this paper. This is so neat. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, I guess you could say I'm smitten with this pen. It does not disappoint. It, in fact, exceeds expectations. 
like me on my end of year reviews. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I got no excuses for you. I'm in a funky mood. So here's today's little haul. We've got a wonderful lot of things. Here's the dried swatch for this Violet Imperial. Did I even say what it is? It's Jacques Herbon 1670 Violet Imperial. This is a new color. As far as I can tell, like the only place that seemed to have it in stock when I ordered was Goulet. Not that I minded. Um, let's see if we can show this swatch. Still drying, but the shimmer is there. I'll be honest, the shimmer seems to be multicolor. It looks champagne to me. Maybe gold. But then sometimes it looks silver. Well, whatever. Um, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you. Thank you for all of you that choose to like, comment, and subscribe, and like, and all of those wonderful things. I appreciate you. Thanks to everybody. <laughs> okay, that's enough of me. All right, bye.